So let's talk about how the camera actually reads light. So we've talked about that the uh, metering system is in the camera and Hans has done a fantastic job at that. But there's uh, a few things you need to know about how a camera sees light to really understand how the metering system works. So I've got my friends uh, Stormtrooper and Darth Vader who've come in to help me out for this demo. Um, when a camera is taking, uh, is metering a subject, the way it reads light is it's not reading the actual light that's hitting the subject, it's reading the light that's reflected from the subject. And that's really different to the light that's hitting the subject. And it's influenced by uh, the colors that it's reading. So I've got my stormtrooper, he's basically all white. Darth Vader, all black. Now, if I point my camera at Stormtrooper and I'm using my camera's uh, metering system to tell me what my actual shot should be. So I wanna shoot at F4 because I want my background out of focus. I'm going to focus on uh, Stormtrooper's eyes or just where they, they should be. I'm gonna do a good headshot of him. So my, um, I'm set at, cause I'm shooting inside, I'm at ISO 400 and I'm taking my meter reading uh, let's do it off the side of his helmet, off the white part of his helmet. And my camera is telling me that the correct reading for this is F4 at 3 20th of a second. So let's get that. Let's take a shot and, oh, it's a bit dark. That's odd. Why would that be? Let's do another one just to check. So correct reading, and it looks really underexposed. Let's do one of um, Darth Vader and see what happens. So I've got Darth Vader, who's uh, all black, going to focus on his eyes. And hang on a minute. So the camera was saying that for the Stormtrooper, the correct setting was uh, F4 at 400 of a second and for Darth Vader it's saying something completely different so I'm going to try and shoot Darth Vader and it's saying that that's really underexposed and wait a minute to get Darth Vader right I'm shooting f4 at a 30th of a second and my whole shot is blown out it's overexposed and he no longer looks black, he looks gray. The reason for this is the camera is reading the light that's reflected, not the actual light. So this is a, a problem that a lot of photographers get confused with when they're shooting skin tone. So um, if you're outside and you're shooting a skin tone and you might have uh, someone with fair skin outside, you take a reading off their skin tone and um, the, the camera is reading the light that's reflected from the skin tone, not the actual light that's hitting the skin tone. And you're always going to get something that's slightly underexposed, which is what happened with the Stormtrooper. The camera was reading the light that's reflected. So there's white light, the color white, and it always wants to go back to what the average should be. And it's giving me, um, it, it wants to read this as, being the correct light, the reflected light, and it's underexposed. When I was trying to photograph Darth Vader, it's reading the black light that's coming uh, back. And uh, so white always reflects more light. Black absorbs light. So that's why the camera got so confused and Darth Vader's shot was overexposed and the Stormtrooper's shot was underexposed. So the way to uh, work around this is that knowing that uh, the camera is always going to try and give you that average middle reading that, as correct. And, and knowing that when you're working with a lighter skin tone and the camera gives you the correct reading, I always overexpose by uh, about a stop and that'll give you a much better looking skin tone because the white, when the camera reads white, it's always going to give you an underexposed image. 
and when I'm working with darker skin tones I underexpose because the camera is always going to get confused by the darker skin tone and give you a reading that's overexposed. If that starts to get a bit confusing the way I like to work and that I know that I nail my exposure every time is to use a light meter. You don't need a light meter to take to be a great photographer or to take better shots but it really makes life so much easier. Let's test it out. So we saw the, the camera had a go at Stormtrooper and Darth Vader messed it up. Let's see what the light meter says. So I've got 400 ISO. I want to shoot at a shutter speed of 1 1 25th of a second just in case Stormtrooper moves. That's why I've picked that uh, higher uh, shutter speed and it's telling me that it is f4 at 1 1 25th and Darth Vader same and of course it should be the same because the light is exactly the same why would the two be different so let's have a go let's shoot according to the light meter so f4 1 1 25th and it's perfect there he is all right and now let's do Darth Vader and as I'm lining up the camera's going no you're wrong it's underexposed you need to expose more because the light meter is reading off the black but I know that my light reading is absolutely correct and let's there go and there he is perfectly exposed fantastic